Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Geneforge. So, uh, as you might notice, um, we had a little bit of a change in our team here. Uh, Blackjack got uh, temporarily upgraded to a Cryo Drake. Because I figured, you know, well, I was going to upgrade him to a regular Drake. And that's what I'm probably going to um, well, downgrade him to in uh, at some point in the future. Because these are really just unreasonably expensive for not being that much better than a normal drake. They are slightly better. They have the same level, same hit points. They do have slightly higher damage in their both in their normal and cone attack. So up to 144 for the normal attack, up to 122 for fire for the normal drake. Um, of course there's different damage types, but other than that, it really should not make that big of a difference. Definitely not a 16 essence kind of difference. I did downgrade Saria a little bit as well. Took away the fast recovery, even though I'm I am fond of that, um, even if it doesn't come into play much. Um, just so I have a little bit more essence to work with. Right now it's you know still down to a, a measly 23, which is really not much. As soon as I start casting some essence shields or you know some of my stronger offensive spells, so uh, yeah, just you know I just figured it's kind of a shame to have access to this most powerful or one of the most powerful creations um, and never actually use it. So. Here we are, actually using it. Well, I mean, not yet, but I guess I'm going to keep him around keep him around for maybe the next area or two that I clear, depending on how much combat we see there, I suppose. Um, for today, we're going to head into the uh, the crossroads. I did go ahead and actually equip Danette's Cloak, because I also figured, you know, it's, it's a unique item with a unique effect. It would be a bit of a shame to not even take a look at it. And, uh, well, we'll see. Um, I was going to test the effect out, but the thing is, I'm not sure if we'll even encounter anything strong enough to uh, put me in, in, in danger of actually dying. I mean, I suppose if I if I do get into combat, I can just try to put myself in harm's way and, you know, not heal myself on purpose to see what it does. And ultimately, if we never if we never get into a situation in combat where, where I get killed or, you know, get saved by the cloak, then... Uh, I didn't need that extra health from the other cloak either, so I guess I might as well use this. I do like the icon. <laughs> so, you know, there is that at least. I also did finally throw out the uh, Grace Borbaton that I think I talked about throwing that out a while ago and I never did. And I put, uh, you know, took up the, a red and a green baton instead. Because, well, at this point really, probably, I don't know, the, the, the red ones are the middle tier, right? Or is it the green ones? Is it gray, green, red? Not actually sure now. Anyway, um, even the middle tier is probably not that big of a threat at this point, but I mean, Grey Mines are completely completely non-threatening, so definitely don't need to carry around a, a baton for those. Anyway, um, crossroads. Here we go. Save the game. Looks like we're not getting any kind of <laughs> any kind of greeting case. Well, what do you know? Grey Mine paths, huh? Okay. What's the middle path, then? Assuming if if I came here much earlier without any kind of way to reasonably go through minefields. Please don't say anything, huh? Okay. Could have made our way here, no problem. Nothing useful in here. Just some, some kind of abandoned little ruin. Okay, this... Uh, I keep forgetting. Is this Sholai sign? Wait, is it? Oh, that was a different sign, wasn't it? I forget. The the, the Sholai banner, rather. Is that gray? I don't know. You inspect the pylon. It is centuries old. There are markings running up and down its length. Looking closely, you see that the markings look like dancing or worshipping forms. This must have been a place of worship or entertainment for whoever lived on this island before the shapers arrived. Hmm. Oh, there are Sholai, after all. No, never mind. Maybe, maybe this is their banner. Nope. Oh. It's an ancient stone circle. It must predate the Shaper settlement of this island. Well, not the first such uh, artifacts we find, of course. Okay, those guys don't seem to care about me all that much. There's also no one with a name among them. Hmm. Okay, we do have access to this building here. Huh. Okay, let's actually talk to these people, uh, or rather, first. Level 11. Okay. So if it does come to combat, then, uh, you know, that should not be any kind of problem. Hey guys? You meet one of the Sholai. 
One of the Sholai. He is uh, dirty and tired, but not wounded. He looks very strong. Fortunately, he doesn't seem hostile. He says, Welcome, Shaper. Leader Gavrila wants to talk to you. He is farther in. You thank him and move on. Oh, okay. I didn't see anyone over there, but I guess that's supposed to be their headquarters for this area. Hmm. We are in the Sholak controlled area here. So that makes sense. Okay, hold on though. Before I walk into here, I mean, I really have no particular reason to be here, and I don't know anything about this area or the Sholai station here specifically. I'm guessing. Oh, there are a lot more mines this way. Holy crap. Uh, the sensor at the top of mines ahead point unerringly at you. When you get close, you notice the sensor has green spots. Oh, okay. Right, green mines. Gray mine path. Gray mine path? Alright, okay. So, uh, with a gray baton or just, you know, being strong enough, I could have made my way through here, probably? Assuming these are the start and end point of the gray spore path, respectively. But, I, I mean, why would you, though? There must be something in there, because obviously you can't just walk around. Um, but then here, there are green mines, which we can also deal with. Probably will. Just, I mean, they're all clustered together very nicely. Are those green? Um, I think this is a different kind of sparkle effect. It's not green, but it's. I think it's a different effect than on the gray mines. Oh, hold on. I wonder why uh, they didn't actually color them green. That seems like a very minimal effort to recolor those respective sprites. Come on, do it. Yeah, okay. Right, those were more like little puffs of smoke. And they are kind of gray-ish. I mean, they're more white than gray, but I figured that was close enough. Okay, anyway, uh, I guess I'm... I could get a little bit closer. I'm also going to save just to be safe. I uh, should be able to walk here? Yeah. And then use this. Detonating, well, most of them. I guess I can use one more charge. In fact, I do have a second green baton in my storage. Is this going to reach all of these? It should, right? Okay, good. Alright, that does allow me access to whatever is past here, so... I mean, presumably the front gate. Uh-huh, yeah, of course. Okay, so that kind of protection makes sense. Also, we have, just by reaching this this exit, I suppose, cleared the map, which is good to know. All right, well, uh, there are the green mines down here. But we are going to look at those in a moment. Orings. Hey, guys. You're just standing there, not even moving? Is there anything special about you? No, okay. They just happen to not move. All right. Uh, this should actually... Wait. Oh, it goes back to ice walls. Right. Wait, there is no... Um, yeah, no, there is no way to the to the north, then, as I somehow assumed. I assumed the crossroads to literally have four different exits, but I guess this one doesn't. All right, fair enough, I guess. Huh, I mean, there's really nothing indicating that there even are Sholai here, which is really interesting. This, the path to their little camp is completely hidden. Huh. There's another gray mine path this way, leading to a completely separate area. Okay, I'm intrigued. Ah. I don't know how I didn't trigger this before, but uh, I didn't. Okay. Gray spots, I see. Uh, yeah, well, since I don't have the baton, I'm just going to uh, use the more, you know, straightforward approach. We'll see how many of those mines we'll have to blast our way through. Hmm. Not a whole lot going on here yet, but okay, there's some more. Some statues, some abandoned shaper workshop, presumably, maybe? Okay, there used to be a connection here, that would have been convenient. Uh, abandoned temple, ooh, okay. Are we maybe gonna see some combat? This here presumably is a uh, Sholai, who was killed by someone or something. 
The first chamber of this old chamber temple had fallen into ruin. Once you enter the side passage, however, everything is pristine, exactly as it was left. The tapestries along the wall depict various spiritual scenes. It is strange that everything here is so intact. The shrine must have some sort of defense against ra raiders and decay. I mean, defense against raiders is one thing, but a literal defense against decay is uh, unique and interesting. Hello? There's literally no one here. Yeah, that's ominous. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess we'll uh, just take a look at this altar. The altar, like the entire shrine, is still completely intact. The ceremonial vestments are still here. There is a tunic, robe, and cap. They're lovely, but they don't seem useful. There's also a girdle. It's a thick, wide leather belt, set with steel studs and gold wire. It's a beautiful object. <sighs> of course I take it. Bargath's girdle. The enchantments which left this temple so pristine also serve to defend its treasures. The moment you touch the girdle, these defenses spring to life. An icy wind blows through the, through the temple. Does it? Oh, hi there. Okay. Well, I mean, I could have... Obviously, I was expecting combat, so I could have prepared beforehand, but I figured I'd give these, you know, at least a bit of a chance, a fighting chance. Yeah. What are you? Specter Sage, okay. Let's maybe focus on that one. Uh, actually, you're standing there, so you can do that. And unfortunately, I did not give you the, or I took away your fast recovery, so this would have been one of those rare-ish situations where we could have actually you know, used that nice cone attack multiple times. Not that it's particularly necessary here, but... You know, it would have been nice. Well, as it turns out, we dealt with them. Okay, there's more coming. That's fine. In fact, can I maybe? Okay, that worked. Nice one shot there. And we'll see if some sort of boss enemy maybe comes eventually. Let's see if the angle works out here. It does. Okay. Don't see anyone else approaching for now. Hmm. Is that it? Really? Let's take a look at the girdle. 8% of melee damage. Yeah, well. Um, a nice girdle for a different character, I guess, and really not that hard to get. Oh, well. Yeah, that was not particularly intense. Hardly a, a worthy combat trial for my Cryo Drake. Guess I'll have to keep looking for something a little bit more challenging. I wasn't, even so, I wasn't really paying attention to the exact damage numbers. Uh, Essence Shield is still going up, but I'm going to cast a new one. Hmm. Okay, several mines in different directions here. Although... This might be a dead end? Come on. Uh, nope, not quite. Even more, my god. Okay, what do we have here? What's this worth it? Uh, not yet. Okay, a living tool. It's better than nothing. Better than literal worthless rocks. Okay. Okay, we got a... Those are still grey though, right? Hmm. Well, so I'll have to deal with them. Shield has actually run out. Okay, shield. Okay, yeah, that uh, those deal a bit more damage. Definitely don't do anything too risky. Although I do have my. Uh, actually, mines are probably one of the best ways to quickly uh, try the cloak effect, aren't they? Hmm. Okay, maybe I should have saved some of those green mines there. Shield is about to run out. 
Uh, I guess I'll probably encounter more strong minds in the future. Also, I'm completely out of, well, almost completely out of essence, so it's really the worst kind of situation to, to try and test that cloak. Maybe I should wait until I replace uh, the cry drake with a normal drake, so I have, you know, some essence. Well, it's the last of my essence, pretty much. All right. How many more? Come on. Also, could this, put, could this possibly be worth it? Well, there's absolutely nothing there, so... Okay. Some more mines this way. Oh, we've got some stronger ones. Hmm, almost 100 shields left. This might actually be a little bit... Might get a little bit close. Hmm. I'll kill myself. Maybe try not to trigger all of them at once. Shielded. Oh, yeah, that dealt quite a bit of damage, didn't it? 72. Eh. I mean, I should be able to survive one more hit like this. I cannot even heal myself anymore. Yes, I know, there's essence pods. But, uh, wow, there's just trash here. Why? I mean, there was one living tool here. And, well, there could be something here, but you can't just walk along the normal path. Why Why mine the regular path and... Uh, or n why not mine the regular path if you want to stop me? I, I don't get it. Is there a point? <laughs> Seems weird to make these completely pointless side paths riddled with mines. And... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna... Yeah, I could... I could eat them. An essence pod. You want... Sure. Why the heck not? Might as well finish the job. Oh, did I trigger something? What's that sound I heard? I don't know. There we go. Oh, I guess there was one around the corner? Yeah, that probably did blow up. Okay, um, just looking at the map, there's there seems to be absolutely nothing that I missed here. So I guess up to the shoreline camp it is now. Huh, what an odd area. I mean, the path to the temple, sure, okay, that was some sort of reward, but this was completely pointless. I guess it was just a troll and, and nothing more. Ultimately. Just, you know, making it look like there's, or, or seem like there would probably be something that's worth the trouble. But then there just wasn't. Huh. Oh well. Alright, let's see here. Two living tools? Ah, sure. Okay. Oh, there's Gavrila. I see. So that's a way to just sneak into the reward room. Air shock. Okay, nice. The box is empty, really. Well then. Standard belt. Sure. Oh, actually, do get one of those living tools back immediately. I mean, I guess I might as well talk to him right away. But then they are friendly enough. I mean. What's stopping me from just walking through the normal way? Or the longer way? Ah, okay. I just needed to take two extra steps and I would have seen the show line here. For what it's worth. Default name one? Oh, I uh, accidentally hit that button. Right. Um, don't mind me just taking all this stuff. You actually do not seem to mind, so... Hey, guys. Uh huh, Gabriela, sure. Well, he's welcoming me, he or she, he. You meet the Sholai Mage. He's very tired and dirty. Uh, very tired and dirty, though, if he has been fighting. Uh, 
He's very tired and dirty, though if he has been fighting, it has not damaged him. He's very relieved to see you. Why would he be? Why has, does he have any reason to assume that I'm friendly? I'm Gavrila, he says, with slow, precise diction. You are in a place of great danger, and you should take care. You should turn back. He knows your language, and he speaks it well. Okay. Actually surprising, considering how little contact they've had with speakers of my language, but okay. Um, yeah, you, you speak my language well. I worked hard with my fellows to learn it. We want to be diplomats. We had to know your tongue. Krashkov did not care, though. He only wants to get power, not deal with you, our true purpose. Can you teach some of your tongue to me? I am a fighter, not a teacher. My magic goes to war, but I will do my best. Oh, really? Well, I mean, now I suddenly don't want to kill him anymore. Huh. But he is, un unlike those uh, some other showline that I've met in the past, he seems to be loyal to Trashkov. Maybe I should just leave him here. I mean, I literally have no reason to deal with him in any kind of way. He might have opened the path to, uh, you know, to the main gate at the main facility for me if I hadn't been able to do that myself. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, he spent several hours explaining to you the syntax and writing of the Shalai tongue. You come, a you come away knowing a lot more. Well, thanks, buddy. Um, what are you doing here? We are the enemies of Trashkov. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. I, not That was somehow not the, not the impression I was getting, but uh, I'm glad that I was wrong. And sorry for assuming, I guess. Um, we are the true diplomats who want to meet with your people, but can't because of Trashkov's lust for the Geneforge. We are here to fight him. Aren't you afraid of hiding here? Why haven't you been killed? Well, you are pretty hidden, so there's that. Trashkov has few people. He cannot spare them to fight us, and he would have to he would have to come out of his hole. He hides in there, and we block him we block him in and interfere. Oh, uh, sorry about removing your blockage then. We have uh, stasis stalemate. Uh, yeah, both work, I guess. Are you strong enough to oppose him? We, like him, have used many of our shaper of your shaper canisters. We are all so strong now. We do not use them, though. We we do not use them more, though. They bend the mind. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you'll learn to live with it, I guess. Are there other rebellious Sholai like you? Yes, you have met them. Oh, and you know that, apparently. There are a few of us, but we are strong and on the side of truth. Great. Um, tell me about the Gene Forge. An artifact of your people. Yeah, I probably know more about it than you at this point, but... Grashkov kept saying that whoever uses it will gain power, will become like a god. He didn't give more information. Trashkov will do anything to use it. He must be stopped. Well, I agree. Okay, uh, tell me about this area. Not much to say about it, really. There is a research fortress to the east. Oh, okay, this, the, the larger area. Well then, research fortress to the east, yes. There are workshops west and south, and there are tunnels to the northwest. Uh, what's in the research fortress? It is the largest research place of your people in this island. It is enormous, but it is guarded. Trashkov has placed many mines at the front gate. Yes. Well, I guess this is not actually the front gate, so there might be a lot more mines. But, I mean, better mines than than pylons, obviously. Um, and then soldiers and turrets, right? Do not attack the, fr the front of the fort. You will, be, you will be doomed. Oh, I like that kind of challenge. How can I pass those mines? I'm not sure. Trashkov bred them. I know that there were ones that spit out spores. Sometimes those ones can cause mines to leave you alone. Right, or just outright blow them up. I don't know where you would get those ones, though. Well, I mean, I have those. So, uh, what are in the workshops? I cannot say. I do not go in there. My mission is diplomacy, not looting. Why not both, though? Um, but Trashkov thinks very valuable things are in there. He has wasted valuable men and women trying to raid them. Okay. Uh, what are those tunnels you mentioned? Northwest of here is what we think is a back entrance into Trashkov's fort. Okay, so the reasonable way in. I will still try the front door first, though. And then probably take the uh, the back entrance after I <laughs> fully clear the uh, the front entrance. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's it's if it's uh, about as well protected as the uh, the guarded dock, then I guess um, I probably can't reasonably go through there. I kind of hope that it's that well protected to force you to take the sneakier approach. But, you know. I'm going to check it out either way. Uh, right. Back entrance. Uh, it's locked, though. We can't get in, and we can't find a key. Well, I mean, I just assume that the entry baton works on the particular lock he's talking about, which is a fair assumption, I guess. Uh, I'm glad. You are better than us at your magic and assaults. I hope you will enter and deal with Trashkov. Oh, I will. Huh. Can you assist me somehow? 
Shaper, we are weak. Trashkov is strong. We have less than the resources uh, we need to fight him. I'm sorry. That's fair enough. Uh, if I do not, if I do not succeed, you certainly you, If I do not succeed, you certainly won't. I'm your only hope. You should you should help me. I, I mean, I, I guess there is some logic to that. But on the other hand, I really don't need whatever they could possibly offer me. I think. I mean, feel free to t tell me if it's something completely unique. But I mean, I don't know what they could possibly give me. Huh. Obviously. Though I had free access to this uh, canister all along, so absolutely no way, uh, no, no, absolutely no reason to take this back entrance, which is also faster and easier to reach <laughs> than uh, than on the main path. Kind of odd. I mean, I, I suppose I could be enemies with these rebel Cholai if I had somehow made contact with the Krashkov before, so that might be a reason to maybe sneak in here and get that. But, yeah, I don't know. It seems like a very specific scenario. Oh, that's what I was right. Chain uh, vest and all those tools that I used right back. Well then, that was a, an unexpected friendly little encounter. Not particularly useful, but I guess he could have given me some info that I wouldn't have known if I had come here much sooner. Although, how much sooner could I could I even have come here? I mean, judging by the few enemies that I that I met, this is obviously way way below my level. Hmm. Well, okay, that was uh, much easier and uneventful than I thought. I was mainly hoping to find another you know area north of here. In fact, oh wait, obviously the the sneaky path must begin in Country's Realm then. I don't know, some, something about the, that name made it sound like it would be just a, a dead end. Well, it's not a dead end, it has two entrances, but, you know, uh, just a self-contained thing. But I guess there must be at least another exit. Huh. But I did say that I wanted to check out the front gate, so I... Oh, okay, now I've moved over this way, which is kind of strange. I mean, not strange, but, you know, I'll just head in the other direction anyway, since the game does allow that. Source of the infection, achievement unlocked, okay. Infection, you say? Huh. Oh, someone's coming to greet me? Oh, those are not friendly. <clears throat> uh, you're at the west end of a large, chilly valley. The ruts of a once major roadway stretch through patches of green scrub. These roads have seen a lot of traffic recently. To the east, above the cliffs, you see where the road leads. It's a massive stone entryway, almost 50 feet high. From, from here, you can see the entrance to the research core of Sucha Island. From here, you can also hear a sound carried on the wind. It's heavy boots tromping over stone and gravel. Yeah, I can even see the people calling it, or some of them. Uh, even from here, you can hear the marching of guards at the heavily defended gateway. The Sholai have heavily reinforced this area. Only a very strong force would have a chance of getting through here intact. Oh, okay, like my party, in other words. Let's take a careful look from afar. Okay, 15 um, and 11. All right, no problem. Yeah, these are, these are easy. Probably easy. Definitely easier. Way easier than those superhumans guarding the, the guarded dogs. So I'll just have my creatures wait for them. Oh, okay. Well, this should work. Hasted. Missed, though. Okay. I guess I level... Wait, you're not 15, though. You're only 11. More than 10 levels below my creatures. I, I guess there was a... Yeah, hit chance 95%. Well. Okay. Some turrets as well. Reaper turret. Huh. Yeah, for some reason I thought... I would have sworn Reaper turrets were darker colored. Maybe that's just because, you know, when I think of a, of a Reaper, I think of a dark rope figure. Uh, you might actually be able to shoot it here. Okay. And you will, in fact, be able to maybe stun him. Stun resist it, though. Okay. Yeah. Well, kind of wasted his one turn buffing. Buffing someone, someone or something around the corner as well. Maybe we'll wait for whoever that is to... Uh, Show himself? Or is it another turret, actually? Oh, yeah, okay. 
fair enough. Alright. One more step. Oh, come on. Really? Oh. Did I stop it? I didn't even pay attention. Okay. I probably should because Reaper Turrets can hit pretty hard. But, uh, well, we were fine. It's all good. Wait. Why am I so far? So far behind. Way too far. Nice. So, I, the main gate is over here, I guess? Or is it to the north? Hmm, I guess we'll see. There's a road leading this way. I think the main road probably leads straight ahead. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably not the main gate. Nope. Um, old Inn, right, I see. Um, this old inn is basically intact. Some of the show like craftsmen cleaned out and settled. Uh, then recently they fled. You can't be sure why, but it is icy cold inside. Did they reactivate something? Oh, in ghosts. Hello there. You know, just the usual. Slight ghostly infection in, in the local inn. Didn't even look at their levels. Oh, wow, these are level 18. Not super healthy, though. So... Yeah. Not a problem. Cold damage. Though. <laughs> eh. Works well enough. Alright. Oh, they're worth nice experience. I'm still... Yeah. Probably not going to reach level 19, but... Who knows? If I get enough of these... Enemies of this kind of level. Oh, okay. And I needed to come here to get... Mass Energize. Yes, please. That's awesome. Is that max level now? Might not be. No, there's one more. Awesome. Uh, stability belt. Physical armor, sun resistance. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. It's decent, though. I appreciate it. Alright, some more minor stuff, and... Finally. Eh, yeah. Nothing of interest. Okay, but the mass energize was really nice, actually. Glad I did check out the gate. Instead of just, you know, deciding to head for the secret path right away. I'm not sure why I'm lagging so far behind, but my creatures should be more than capable of dealing with this. I know. Oh! Did not actually realize that there was a Sholai patrolling. Another level 11, though, so. <clears throat> and I missed again. Okay. okay, I mean, what? What is happening? Four misses. I, including two extremely back-to-back -back at a 95% hit chance. That seems almost impossibly unlikely. But, I mean, we saw it. I have no reason to assume that the game is lying about those numbers, but it is very odd, isn't it? I mean, if the numbers are correct, then that must be an astronomically low chance of that happening. Well, not astronomically, but, you know. Anyway, that's, that's what randomness does, occasionally. Okay. Hmm. Not a whole lot going on in these side canyons here. Hello there. Good thing these turrets are slow. Slower than any of my party members, it looks like. 
me, please. Oh, I must have accidentally double tapped that F button again. As I sometimes do. Hello. Shall I wizard level 15? See? Reaper turrets, augmented shall I. Alright. That must be the, the actual main gate, obviously. I was expecting it to, you know, be on the northern side of the map. And I guess I didn't expect uh, the the whole thing to be kind of L-shaped. Well, let's uh, move ahead. Thankfully, you know, only half of the, the guard force here is able to, to come after me. The rest I'll just stay out of range of and it's going to take care of that for the time being. I am almost out of essence. Are you guys even aware that I'm approaching? How much closer do I need to get? Hmm. I could open with one of these. But, um, of course, I want to uh, deal maximum damage. Okay, you just don't want to attack me. So uh, let's start like this. It's a pretty decent first turn. Uh, of course, unfortunately, well, you can at least shoot one of them like this. And you can probably get close enough. Uh, actually, that might be a problem because you might be close enough to be attacked by the Reapers. You can't quite reach that one. Not perfectly planned on my part. Eh, but that's okay. This guy might die from acid. Did not though. Wait. Okay. More guys inside. Uh, he, okay. I guess I missed him with the the acid effect. That explains that. Hmm. That's, I mean, good enough, I guess. I could damage all of these and the mage. Yeah. This has a good chance to finish off both one turret and this guy. All right. Very good. I'll take it. Um, well, Nero should be able to deal with this guy. I think I want to take out the spellcaster just in case. You can finish off that turret. Got him stunned. Acid resisted. Okay. How much? Only 18%. Huh. Okay. Well, I can cast this one more time. So... We'll do that. Alright, another stun resisted for one of them. You're another augmented. Hasted. Oh! How lucky that you were still in range. I like it. Hasted. Okay, um, we can do this. So you're, you just uh, avoided being stunned twice. That's fine. You did not avoid the asset though. There, have a job. Nice. Uh, no one really needs healing. We should be able to deal with these just fine. Nice critical. Okay, uh, your ranged attack is going to cool down, but you have RT and that's that. Oh, another Shulai wizard. It was a little bit late to the party, but... Uh, oh, okay. Not quite done yet. Getting very close, though. Um, I can use this again? Really? Huh. I guess it's only two essence. For some reason... I wasn't even paying attention. For some reason, I thought it was more expensive. You're still on cooldown. And deal with or oh well. I guess you can just attack them both. That works too. Nice. Oh, we got even more. Wow. Holy crap. I mean, it's 
good for me that they just, uh, you know, come uh, basically one after the other or only a handful at a time. Would it be better to use... Oh, okay, well. Uh, would it be better to use physical attacks against them? Possibly at 44 versus 10% armor. Maybe I should use javelins against them. You guys, though, it's kind of the other way around. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. And oh wait, I can't reach you from there. Did not think that was gonna reach. Mm, I could try terror for the first time in forever. To um, yeah, maybe do this. We'll see if that works. Uh, somehow this one was not affected at all, or I just maybe I just didn't see the floating text because of the odd line of sight thingies. Shenanigans. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I guess I didn't see the text there either, so that's just how that is. Paste it. Missed. Well, now we were terrified by uh, well natural causes. Right, you have your cone attack ready as well. So close. Well, well, you don't have very far to run. There's more enemies though. Wow. It is the front gate. The game certainly did discourage me from trying to try to fight my way through here. And just, you know, just a few levels lower, and this would have been much more of a thing. Huh. Oh, Ferropont. Interesting name, not very Russian-sounding. Um, level 15, okay, same, pretty much the same stats as normal or other augmented Chulai. Hmm. Uh, I guess, you know, in a Trashkov-friendly scenario, he might have been uh, a friendly NPC, or, you know, some sort of quest-giver or merchant. Um, let's going to sell these. Actually, uh, this one as well. Okay, some okay drops from some of these guys. I'm just going to quickly finish looking around outside here. Um, <coughs> take out this final turret. <coughs> hmm. Someone who looks like a, a dead um, servile made it all the way here. Some kind of spy from somewhere. Pretty well equipped too, but ultimately fell victim to a reaper turret, it looks like. Hello? This was an office and holding chamber for people and materials coming in and out of the research halls. Now it serves as barracks for the Sholai mages guarding the gate. Yeah, okay, that's where all the mages came from. Makes sense. To the southeast, you see a holding pen for creations. The Sholai have been using it for a different purpose. They have been locking prisoners in here and using them for target practice. You can see three dead servants. Wow, that's that is pretty um, pretty terrible. Let's check on them. I'm I'm not looting them. I'm checking on them. It's different. Can I not read? Hello? I'm sure I could technically walk there. Game? I'm sure you know better. Poor guys. Not even any valuables on them. Wow. Uh, okay, there were a lot of canisters in here. It's a shame that they were all wasted on those uh, Sholai drugs. Uh, do not pull lever. Okay. Hmm. Should probably heed that warning. Not. Uh, I guess I'll just freely take all those things. Obviously. All right. Did they actually lock something dangerous in here? Hmm. Wait. What? Uh, there is a massive wooden lever here. A sign on the wall above it reads, "Front gates ceiling control." Uh. Yes. With great exertion, you pull the lever. It switches positions with a loud clang. You hear the sound of great rusty gears starting to turn. 
You hear metal bars clanging in place behind the wall to the north. You have sealed the front gates of... Sealed them? Wait, I thought they were sealed and I unsealed them. Okay. Cool, thanks. I guess they did warn me not to use it. Well, I mean, I was going to take the other way in anyway, so this is this does not actually change anything. I probably would not have even walked through the gate, but... This is a bit of a dick move. I mean, again, it doesn't really change anything, so... That's fine. And if I had been planning to actually go through here, then I would have been... Oh, wait, I literally sealed this. This opened previously, so... I actually blocked my access to that place. Wait, I didn't even try pulling the lever again. I guess, you know, it, it sounded pretty final when and I could reload. Oh, pull the lever? Nothing happens. You know what? Uh, I'm going to reload. I'm probably going to reseal it again. just want to see what I'm missing here. I'm probably not much, if anything. Okay, it might literally be nothing. Yeah, okay, this is purely ornamental. Purely ornamental. Oh, hold on, except there is this. What is this? Uh, you pull the lever. Oh, in case I... S okay, that must unseal it from the inside. Just so you can walk back out the main door if you make it through... Okay, central labs. All right, fair enough. Yeah, so there was absolutely no reason to come in here. They didn't even put any treasure that I that I could have missed out on. So it's less of a dick move than I thought. And again, there was there was a warning, but you know, when has this kind of warning ever actually you know stopped anyone, any player? All right, that's fine. I did seal it. It's okay. Okay, there's another augmented sholite that I didn't see. Don't really have any resources for buffing anymore, but we should be fine even without it. Well. It's done resisted, but uh, maybe we can finish it like this? We can. Okay, and his boss, presumably only notices now. A bit too late to uh, really do anything. Uh. Yep, sure enough. A large band of Sholai warriors used to sleep here. The intact beds and furniture were moved to the south end of the room, and the crumbled and rotten stuff was pushed to the north. And I just throw it out entirely. Not that it matters anymore. Reaper stuff, heavy boots. <clears throat> okay. There's another door. Oh, I hope I didn't seal that one. That would be... That wouldn't make any sense. Really hope that's not the case. Another shaped shield. Eh. Shield sword. Okay. And... Pff, jeweled wand. Eh. Fine robes. And that seems to be it for the main gate. All right, okay, well, that, that's out of the way. So now I can focus on the on the real way into the fortress. I mean, really, he just attacks the front gate of, of a facility like this. That's just silly. Um, I mean, the party works well. Um, the cryodrake is certainly powerful, but it's, it, it didn't really feel that much more powerful than the normal drake, and I did run out of essence immediately, right? or super fast, not immediately. So yeah, I think for next time, oh, apparently I never walked around here, uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, for next time I'm going to replace the cry drake with a normal drake, just so I have a little bit more essence to work with, and uh, that should basically perform just the same. And I'm going to be able to give them both the uh, fast recovery too. So in 
a situation like this that would have actually come in handy. Right, um, yeah. So, I guess that's it for this episode. Nothing left to say. Next time we're going to head into, not the central labs, because I did seal my way into them. Too bad. Uh, next time, Country's Realm. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you how the path continues from there, or what that place is even all about in the first place, who this country even is. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.